What is going on, Adventure Nation? In this episode, we roll out of La Paz, the capital city of Baja, California, sir, and we head back to the Pacific coast to Cerritos Beach. This is Life with Paul and Lorena. We rolled out of Campestre Maranatha, one of our favorite campgrounds in Baja, California, sir, headed on over to Playa Cerritos, and did some dry camping over there. We have arrived at Cerritos Beach Yay! and uh, we've got everybody parked. We might be doing some moving around. The sand here is really soupy in this spot. So we need to avoid those. So we've stayed on this back wall over here with everybody <laughs> and we're gonna set up over there. Then we'll get out and explore the beach a little bit. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's coming eventually. <laughs> he's taking his time. Once we arrived, we were greeted with a couple of guys on paramotors, and then there were some whales out playing on the beach as well. It was really, really cool for our first day there on the Pacific Ocean. I pull out my camera and they stop doing it. Today we've come with the group over to Toto Santos, so we're doing the obligatory pictures here at the uh, Toto Santos sign. But think, they're huh? cute. Uh, yeah, they are cute. Really cute. And the little town of Toto Santos is cute right here on the Pacific Coast. So everyone's having a good time, I think. Toto Santos is just up the road from Cerritos Beach and took a walk around historic Toto Santos. It is a great spot to get out and just wander around. The streets are really cute. and There's a lot of stuff to see and do in, on, and around Toto Santos. All right, everybody got Red their so margarita. <laughs> How's your margarita, margarita, Lori? Margarita Damiana. That's how it's called because it has a special liquor called Damiana and it's very tasty, very good. Is there anything but alcohol in that cup? Lime juice. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Squeeze of right? four little key limes. Four That's, That's it. it. And if you're lucky enough, if you're there in a time when they are doing turtle releases you can catch that and we happen to be lucky enough to do so and it was really really fun oh my goodness so cool oh wow i've got i've got two turtles i've got two turtles here oh my lori's got two turtles as well that's crazy oh there they are they're already trying to get out Already trying to get out. Oh, Lori, got one more, yeah. Come on over. Yeah, Aww. yeah. These guys are twins. They don't want to leave each other. Okay, okay, everybody. All right. I've got... Uh... Goals! Today's! Come on guys, come on out man. It's all you. Come on. Come on. Come on. This guy doesn't want to leave. Come on, dude. Alright guys, head to the water. No, you're going the wrong way. Oh, you looked right at me. We've got uh, we've got mama. Richard Petty and I've got AJ Foyt here. So <laughs> let's see. That that just showed me how old you are. Yeah. Ford versus Ferrari. So come on guys, Richard Petty versus AJ Foyt, a race of the century. Oh, AJ's pulling ahead. Uh oh, looks like Richard's fired up, but Petty's, Petty's stuck in the sand over here. Foyt's way out in front. This is gonna be a long race. I don't think we're gonna televise this whole thing. Foyt's kicking his, Mm -hmm. Go 
Don't give up. You can do it. A wave will come and help him out. Can we help him out? No. Nope. Good morning, everybody. Today is our last day here at uh, Cerritos Beach, just outside of El Pescadero on the Pacific Coast side. And we're just kind of hanging out, visited Toto Santos a little bit. And this morning we're just doing our last little walk out before we head over, back over anyways, to Sea of Cortez, to La Ventana, and check out the other side. Yeah, I would say these little towns, you have to get out and explore because there's so many hidden little cute spots that you can find. Like today we went to the surf shop and we went and looked at some of the little hotels, the tiki hotels. Yeah, I did, so not, I did not expect that surf shop here <laughs> in Cerritos Beach. Holy smokes, it's just an absolutely beautiful building, really well done and uh, lots of supply. Obviously very American prices, which is gonna happen when you're in the, the little surf communities, but beautiful area. Yeah. And uh, they are building everywhere here. It is crazy since the last time we were here, there is so much construction. You have this huge hotel here. Pretty much anything that's white that's in the video, now that's bright white, the stuff up on the hill, all of this, this building here in red, this building here, all of that stuff is brand new construction since we were here a couple of years ago. So Cerritos Beach is just exploding, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. But now it's time to get going and head uh, back over to the Sea of Cortez. What do you think? I agree. Almost time to get my kiting on, which I'm very happy about. <laughs> Almost. After leaving Playa Cerritos, we headed on over, or at least our plan was to head over to La Ventana, but once we arrived in La Ventana, it was absolutely packed. The kiters were already in town, even though it was mid-November and we just couldn't find a place to stay. So we headed directly over to Los Frailes, which is just south of Los Barillas. We have a slowdown due to a cow, slowdown due to a cow in the middle of the road. Now as we rolled into Los Frailes, it started to get dark and when we arrived it kind of looked like this. And I think the people thought we were a little nuts or at least more nuts than normal. The next morning. But the next day, when the sun was out, this is what they saw, and Los Frailes is absolutely spectacular. We got to do a little snorkeling in the afternoon. We weren't sure what we were gonna find just off the beach there in Los Frailes. We had never snorkeled here before, but it did not disappoint. There were thousands and thousands of fish just off the beach. Not sure what these are, might be yellowtail amberjack, I'm not sure. It'd be great if you said what you think they are in the comments below. We did see a small manta ray and a couple of spotted rays, and it looks like there might have been a couple of common jacks in there, bigger ones that were chasing the other fish around. And it also looked like a rooster fish might have been down in there as well, which was really, really kind of cool. dry camping at Los Frailes at the beach and uh, today we're doing a little doing a little dinner gathering. Lori made casoli and everybody brought some stuff. Say hi everybody. Hi hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> Is everybody joining Los, Los Frailes? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yes, that's how that. Okay, redo that. How was it? Yes, it was scary, and the snorkeling is terrible. And oh, I didn't see a thing. No fish. Matter of fact, the water was just murky and nasty. Cold. Cold. Yeah. All right. The rest of the gang is rolling, 
Al's still here, I'm here, but uh, everyone else has hit the road back to Cabo Pomo. We're just gonna get turned around here, try not to get stuck, and, uh, and head out. But what a, a phenomenal stay. We're here in the little fish camp, Los Frailes, as we said before. And as you can see, it is just a spectacular bay here. Go spend one night in Cabo Pomo, and then over to Los Brillas, where we're done traveling for a little while. Looking forward to it. You looking forward to it, Lori? Los Brillas? Yes, very much so. As much as I love traveling, it's like, it's been like, go, go, go. All right. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing turned around and see what happens. It's gonna be tricky. It's gonna be a little tricky. We're gonna do a 400 point turn. And this is gonna be our spot for tonight. Yay! What do you think? Turquoise waters. Yeah, it's really weird, the river rock here. I don't quite yeah. understand how that got here, uh, whether it was placed here by the community or what, or maybe it is part of the ocean, I don't know. But it's kind of cool. Two hours later. Sing it, Lori. The long version of All right, we are all getting fired up here at Cabo Pomo, getting ready to head out and head over to Los Barillas. We are done with all the nasty dirt road that we've been driving, and we're now gonna go play on some pavement. So I'm sure everybody's pretty happy about that. This was an absolutely beautiful spot. The beach here is not usable, really, because of all the river rock, and it's a, kind of a drop off here, and there's no reef and stuff, but uh, you just walk into town, which we did this morning, and of course, did I take any video? No, but you'll be able to check out everybody's Facebooks and see that stuff, but town is down in there, and there's all kinds of snorkeling and stuff down in Cabo Pomo. So it was good. It was a nice little snorkeling day. But time to get over to Los Barillas and time to get in some kiting. Should be fun. After leaving Cabo Pomo, we headed down that washboardy dirt road again. And it was only nine kilometers of that. And then we were back on that pavement and heading into Los Barillas. And as we got into Los Barillas and headed across the wash and started to pull into Playa Norte RV Park, it just felt like we were home again. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed that episode of us arriving in Los Barillas. And as you can see here, while well, you might not be able to tell that we're here at the beach, but we are here at the beach in Los Barillas. And we're right next to our old stomping grounds here at Playa Norte. And we're gonna have more coming from Los Barillas as well. So that's gonna be fun. Uh, you'll get to see the property that we're on but tonight, I'm here with friends and family. We're enjoying a little, little dinner over here at Amigos Bar and Grill. You might have recognized this from previous videos. This used to be El Gecko, but it's now the Amigos Bar and Grill. So, gotta go back and join the crazies. You'll recognize Richard and Cheryl over there, Lorena and her mom. So, thanks for watching. It'd be great if you hung out with us a little bit, got to know us. That means you should hit that subscribe button. It'd be equally as cool if you liked the video. And we'll see you again next time. That's Elizabeth. Bye now. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>